Now well, there's actually three tomatoes coming in now. Uh, this is on, in the indoor system. See them down there. It's pretty neat. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an update on our floating raft system, and I don't know how I, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this video because this this reflective material on the top of our um, of our rafts is ma is making uh, at least my view of what's going on um, kind of uh, kind of dark. So uh, anyway, if you can see in these first six cups, we have expanded shale. I don't know if you can see it, um, but. This stuff's pretty neat. Uh, uh, I got this off the uh, the web for Deb uh, expanded shale giveaway contest thing on his YouTube page, and then and, and these ones we have just regular hydrotin. So uh, it's almost all full. Uh, you can see the rips in that in that stuff. The uh, the drill made short short work of it. Uh, but so, some of these don't have um, a baskets in because uh, we, we we ran out. Uh, so I need to go to the hydro store tomorrow and pick up some more baskets and uh, get, get the hydrotin planted. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but these are actually split up into uh, separate separate rafts. So if we ever want to um, put in different rafts, we can go ahead and just measure these ones out, and then you know re re replace re replace the tile as needed. So, uh, but as you can see, there's uh, 15 cups per raft, um, 18 in this one, but uh, 15 cups. Hopefully, uh, w once we get a rotation down, we'll, we'll be able to harvest. Um, at least uh, 15 heads of lettuce every week or every two weeks, just just depending on how well they grow. So that would be ideal, but uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the progress. I just want to show you guys these bell pepper plants. Um, so far, they're they're liking this uh, this system, and uh, they're, they're doing okay. This one has some uh, ye yellow yellowing of the leaves a little bit, but you know, not too bad. But uh, I want to show you this. This guy here, that's a pepper starting. He's, it's pretty neat. And uh, there's another one on here actually. So uh, yeah, this right here. So, and I don't know if they're too. I mean, these plants are a little small, but I don't know how big they should be when before they start producing uh, fruit. But uh, th th it's actually starting to come in on, on all three of them. So uh, I'll just let them go, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I just wanted to go show you guys the habanero plants. Um, these four hab habaneros are the are in the uh, the greenhouse system, and you can see that the leaves are turning yellow. Um, they're they're kind of going through their initial they're they're still going through their initial shock um, of being in the water probably for a lot longer than they're used to. So they're doing, I mean they're they're alive, but um, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they snap back. With this, uh, the sun, this well, the, the sunshine that we have been getting. Um, but I want to show you guys the habaneros that we have planted inside and, and show you how well they're doing. So these are the habanero peppers uh, that I have growing inside. Now these ones have actually been in the system a lot longer than the other one. Uh, this one was a lot smaller, but um, the, the the top leaves were all the way down in the rocks when I actually put it in. So it has grown a bunch. Uh, this one is just doing a lot better because it was closer to the light for longer. Um, but you can see how tall it is. I mean, compared to my hands, these leaves are these leaves are pretty big. I mean, it's a, it's it's getting decent size, and and you can actually see some flowers. Look, they, they look like they're they're gonna form, and uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just let them form. So, yeah, uh, the habaneros are uh, doing pretty good. We noticed that we had an iron supplement, so uh, we checked it out, and it turns out that this iron supplement is uh, chelated, um, and uh, there's just iron. Um, maltodextrin and uh, gelatin so uh, nothing pretty great nothing you know anything weird so I think what I'm gonna do is just take uh, one of these capsules and uh, dissolve it in this water and then I'm gonna put it out into the uh, the outdoor system over there so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick okay so I got it all uh, stirred up and there's a l little bit of floating uh, solids on the top but I don't really think that's gonna that's gonna matter. So I'm gonna go over and add this to my system. All right, so uh, we're gonna add iron to the uh, barrel aquaponics system, and uh, we'll add it. All right, we'll give it a few days and uh, see if we can notice any difference in these plants. So these are the micro or dwarf tomato plants, the tumbling toms. Um, I have them. 
uh, growing indoors uh, before I move them out into the greenhouse, uh, into the strawberry towers. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep two of them in the indoor system since this one's doing so well and uh, see what kind of growth I get uh, out of a dwarf tomato plant in the indoor system. So I just wanted to give you guys a look at that. Uh, you can hear the, uh, the wind and the rain starting to pick up now, but uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, come join our aquaponics conversations at uh, the fan page, uh, Facebook fan page, HD Aquaponics. And I will uh, be updating you guys again real soon, uh, probably when I put the uh, tumbling toms in these strawberry towers. So, anyway, 